Hey guys, Cody Barramani here. Today, we got a quick, cool project with our Eastwood Mini Mill. We're gonna make ourselves a nice bracket. This would be pretty similar to something you use to mount, say, an alternator or another accessory on the front of an engine. We're gonna slot it so we have some adjustability. And we're also gonna face part of it to simulate that where it was mounting to was actually offset. This is all stuff that you're gonna be able to accomplish with an Eastwood Mini Mill. It's not gonna take many additional tools at all, and you're gonna end up with a great result. So let's get started. So here's the deal, guys. We've already got this roughly laid out. We used a scribe and just a, a machine to square, and we were able to get all the dimensions where we need them for the outline of the shape. We've got a factory cut edge here that we're gonna be able to utilize and begin getting this top edge nice and flat relative to the other edge. So we're gonna get this mounted up in our vise. You know, make sure you're good and flat there. Really put some space behind it. And then we're gonna start taking cuts along the top. If we had a larger vise, it'd be a little nicer because we'd be able to support a little closer to our cut, but this is what we're working with here, and this is how we're gonna get our job done. So this mini mill is real easy to operate. All you have to do is open up the safety switch and then set your speed. We're running aluminum here so we can run pretty fast. So now that we've got the top and bottom surface cut, we're now gonna swap out our 3 8 10 mil and collet for a drill chuck. We're gonna drill two holes here for our bolt pattern, and that's also gonna allow us to clamp this piece of aluminum down and cut our other sides. All right, guys, so in about two hours, we were able to make ourselves a bracket. We were able to accurately cut 
we were accurately able to face and slot as well as drill multiple holes. Came out nice, it's definitely gonna get the job done. There's definitely some things I would do differently next time. That's one thing when you're using one of these, you're definitely learning as you're going. So for more information about this mini mill, visit eastwood.com.